I've had a number of people on Google Plus telling me that I'm overreacting when it comes to what I think is going to happen because of the disconnecting of Google Plus and YouTube. Let me ask you something. Have, have you checked your Google Plus feed lately for conversations? And this would be on posts that are not from when Google Plus was still connected to YouTube. I'm talking about posts that are since the change and someone has just shared a video. Any comments? Or can you just keep scrolling through and see no comments, no comments, plus one, plus one, plus one, I plus one you, I'm crushing your head, right? I'm no, no comments, plus one, plus one. That's the extent of interaction is plus one. Now think about how often you've seen any conversation, really, on Google Plus for the past year. Um, most of the time, the only time you're going to see much interaction is if someone, like, well, they could post an article that people disagree with the source, and they'll bicker back and forth about the source. Okay. There will be posts where people, which it's, it's really good that this can happen, and people are, are posting about problems they're having with their life or with some other thing, and people are there to help. And there'll be interactions that way. Okay? But beyond that, where do you see the conversations? There might be a one-liner once in a while, but where are the discussions? Where is the intellectually or just mentally stimulating stuff going on? Well, it's all in the article that you could have found on, on Google News. It's all in the YouTube video. No need for a conversation, right? <clears throat> no need to try to learn any new perspectives. That's, you know, that's just thinking too much. And this sort of thing doesn't really happen that much on the YouTube side of things when it's not connected with Google+. Because when someone posts those things on Google+, it invites a lot of discussion. You know, you know that either someone in your Google Plus side of things may leave a comment and then other people will leave comments back, or someone from the YouTube side of things who may not even be anything part of your Google Plus thing will leave a comment and it'll start stimulate a conversation with those that are in your Google Plus circles. You know, it really started a lot of conversations. Where is that now? Well, cute pictures and gifs of animals. Um, plus one, plus one, plus one. Oh, that's so cute. Plus one. Then you have, uh, political posts, political cartoons, plus one, plus one, oh, that's so true, plus one, plus one. That's a social networking site? Facebook has a lot more interaction than that. You post some sort of political thing, you'll usually see somewhat of a conversation going on on it. Google Plus, plus one, plus one. How's that supposed to work? You know? Um... I've been watching the decline of Google Plus for at least a year now. I haven't wanted to fess up to it. I haven't wanted to admit to it. But I knew that when they were going to separate Google Plus from YouTube that there was going to be some... They were going to, it, it, the decline was going to accelerate exponentially. And that, to me, is what has happened here. We're not going to see, it's, you know, both YouTube and Google Plus are no longer 
intellectually or mentally stimulating. Unless somehow the video is just so stimulating by itself. Yeah, I'm gonna gain all this perspective out of someone getting on their soapbox, instead of actually having interactions. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna continue to have discussions with people who post comments on my videos, but, you know, on these larger channels, I don't see a point. So...